Yeah, thanks a lot. Well, give us about ten minutes, cos you're just finishing a coffee. All right? Cheers. Your Vanna waits. Oh, thanks. So, are you and Dale still coming around for dinner next week? So long as it's still all right with you and Cassandra. Yeah, I've been looking forward to it. Sorry it's taken so long to invite you. <laughs> we was going to pop round and say hello, you know, cos Del said you was back in town and living... living, um... staying at the flat with him. <laughs> and Albert. So, when did you get back? A couple of weeks ago. I was over in America having a great time when I suddenly thought... Well, hold on. You was in America? Didn't Del say? Oh. Oh, it was wonderful. We were doing this tour of My Fair Lady down the East Coast. I was a flower seller. Cosmic. Yeah. <laughs> right. Very cheap and cheerful, but I was seeing the world and getting paid. We did Atlantic City, Miami, New Orleans. Then suddenly I got this sort of urge to come home. To Dell? Yes, to Dell. Well, I won't come home from New Orleans to see Dell. <laughs> I won't come home from a new forest to see Dell. <laughs> You don't see him the way I do. He's lovely. Well, there are many words I could use to describe <laughs> Derek Trotter, but lovely is not one of them. <laughs> so, how's the old sort keeping? He's fine. He seems, I don't know, quieter than when I first met him. Del. Raquel, some years ago, Del went to a monastery and took a vow of loudness. <laughs> oh, that's not fair. No, he has changed. Not so loud and brash as he used to be. Right, come on in, gather round, gather round, ladies and gentlemen. The crusader against inflation with another bargain of a lifetime. Now, this magnificent little dolly that would probably cost you £35 up there in Oxford Street. Now, but you know my motto. My motto is West End goods at South End prices. <laughs> now, listen, if I offered you this little doll here, for ten pounds, you'd probably rip my arm off at the elbow to get at it, wouldn't you? But I tell you what I'm going to do, because I'm in a festive mood, I'm going to let you have this doll at rock bottom bargain price. Now, I'm not going to ask you for ten quid. I'm not going to ask you for eight quid. What I'm going to ask you for is seven pound fifty. Seven pound fifty. Here it goes. Come on, first come, first serve. I've got many. Come on, come on, quick, quick, both. Don't tell me anybody. <laughs> What is the matter with you people? What is the matter? Don't you see a bargain when you see one? This is not your foreign rubbish, you know. This is handmade in Great Britain. The British toy industry reckon this is the most lifelike doll they've ever seen in their life. And I'll prove it to you. Look at this. Look at this. Here it is, a genuine little baby bottle. You can feed her from the bottle. She wets herself. <laughs> she laughs. She cries. And if you keep her till she's 13, she breaks out in acne and wants to go for Brussels. <laughs> Would I lie? Would I lie to you? I'll show you something else. Another little feature of this wonderful toy. She will even sing a little lullaby to put herself to sleep. Just listen to this. <laughs> 